An update now from the ABC 15 investigators. An MRI scan goes terribly wrong, leaving an Arizona inmate and a prison guard stuck to the machine. Department of Corrections records show both were allowed to go inside with metal on and it caused serious injuries and it also raised some serious questions about a lack of patient oversight at Simon Med. We told you last night how the company is getting to play by different regulatory rules in Arizona. Now tonight, ABC 15 investigator Jennifer Kopaleski continues her reporting and she's looking into why the company didn't have to tell federal regulators. Without us telling you about it, this shocking MRI incident would have likely continued to go unreported. Arizona's health department says it couldn't investigate the incident because of an exemption the state granted Simon Med, allowing the imaging center to go unlicensed and unregulated. The Department of Health is now reviewing Simon Med's exemption, but the company didn't have to tell federal regulators about this incident either. That magnetic field grabbed hold of the chain and the padlock and essentially pulled the prisoner um, up against the MRI. What happened inside the Simon Med Imaging Center in Avondale? MRI safety expert Tobias Gilk says should have been on the radar of state and federal regulators. From a regulatory standpoint, MRI safety is really the wild, wild west. But for more than a year, only those involved knew about it. While it may not rise to the level of FDA classification of a serious reportable event, in my opinion, it's pretty serious. We'll explain why it doesn't rise to that level in a minute. But first, let's remind you what happened. Arizona inmate Lacey Windust went in for an MRI scan last May, when according to this Department of Corrections incident report, a Simon Med tech told the guard not to remove the shackles around Lacey's waist. MRIs are essentially giant magnets, so the decision to leave on her metal chains caused Lacey to fly into the air and get stuck to the MRI machine. Lacey started to walk towards the machine and it sucked her into the machine, into the hole of, of the MRI machine. That's Lacey's sister, Tawny Song, and this incident only gets worse. DOC documents show after the Simon Med tech asked the guard to go in and help Lacey, the guard reported he was also stuck to the MRI machine because of my gun. Begging for them to please shut it off, hit the red button, they wouldn't do it. Eventually, prison records show someone hits the red button and they are released from the machine. Lacey is taken to the emergency room where doctors stitch up this deep cut in her hand. These are photos the prison took of her injuries. But here's what is key. Lacey was never admitted to the hospital and the FDA only requires reporting of what it calls a serious adverse event if there was an admission to the hospital. Going to the emergency room and getting a dozen stitches or a cast, um, even though you or I would probably rightly consider that to be a pretty significant injury and accident, it doesn't rise to the minimum reporting threshold for FDA. Of course it's not. That is insane, yeah. We searched the federal database of adverse events involving medical devices and found no report matching the date or description of what happened at the Simon Med in Avondale. So lots and lots and lots of accidents, if they don't produce hospitalization or worse, essentially go unreported. What needs to change? I think efforts to try and be transparent about how accidents occurred and how other providers can learn from these mistakes so as not to repeat them. Simon Med told us it adheres to strict regulatory requirements and said in a statement, any incidents that occur are fully investigated and all such incidents are reported to the appropriate regulatory agencies and accrediting bodies consistent with obligations imposed under HIPAA and other state and federal laws and regulations. But when we asked Simon Med if it reported this incident, the company didn't answer that question. The FDA does have other mandatory reporting requirements for medical devices, but those only apply to the companies who make the devices, or in this case, the MRI machine, not the facilities where it happened. And it's only if the manufacturer becomes aware of a death or serious injury. I'm investigator Jennifer Kovaleski, ABC 15, Arizona.